All right, everyone, this is your chance to get a sneak peek at the brand new TennisDrills.tv. We've been letting you know that pretty soon we'll be launching our new and improved site. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek to see what it's all involves. So most of our content, just like the last time, is right here. Probably 90% of our content is right here under the Drills tab. You see we have singles drills, doubles drills, serving drills, dead ball drills. I'm really proud of this brand new section with our partnership with Playmate Tennis Machines. All these are brand new ball, uh, ball machine drills. Um, we have large group drills for 8, 12, and 24 players on a court. Our really popular little kids section for f drills for 5 and 6 year olds, 7, 8, 9, 10, which is the orange court. Private lesson ideas and warm up ideas. And then we also have the free drills here just for your convenience. Uh, so I'm just going to go really quickly and we'll just click on singles drills so you get the basic navigation. So you'll know that you're in the singles area because right here it'll tell you that you're in the singles video library. And just as an example, in the singles category alone, I'm going to scroll down just to show you, we have 210 different singles drills. Now any one of these can be watched, and if you pick one, I'll just pick big points here as an example. Okay, so you can see that we're on big points right here. That's the video I chose to play, and then I can go ahead and just play it right here on the video to watch it. Okay guys, check out this game called Big Points. Uh, the whole idea of Big Points... So you can see, I'll just mute that, but you can watch all these videos. You can see them uh, full screen by clicking here. And we're converting tons of our videos from standard def to high def. And you can tell if they're high def because it's right here. So one of the big improvements that we have uh, is we're using a different video player. Before, uh, we streamed it just, you know, 720 or whatever. And depending on your internet speed, it wasn't always very... Uh, easy to watch so now it'll auto stream to whatever your connection can handle and then of course you can come in here manually uh, and all these high def videos and watch them in higher def and choose it so that's just a nice feature and one of the big reasons we switched is because I wanted to have a better streaming experience for our people there's a bunch of other menus up here on the upper menu bar and if we go to the strategy you'll see under singles we have all these types of players and under doubles we have a bunch of videos on how to beat these types of players now the video tips section uh, really has three subcategories. There's tips for coaches, tips for players, and tips for feeding. So the feeding tips are really good if you have a, a, a bunch of young pros working for you, if you're running an academy or, or anything like that, uh, it's a really good way to kind of know what to try and what to do to improve your feeding skills. Under the strength and agility tab, we have strength first, and that has three subcategories, upper body, core, and lower body. And agility also has three categories, court drills, ladder drills, and warm-up drills. Now the lesson plans has really been a nice pickup. We added this not that long ago. If you can see under kids red one, that's five and six drills, you'll notice that I have here pre-rally. Uh, and pre-rally is because we had so many people, subscribers saying, you know, Coach Jorge, uh, I like your drills, but I have little kids that can't even rally yet. Can you come up with something like that? So we have for the you um, a whole eight-week lesson plan for just that. And then we have more for Red 2, which is our really the five and six-year-old, but now they can rally. Red 3 is seven, eight-year-olds are still playing on the red court. Here's where we go to the nine and ten-year-olds. Uh, we call it that the orange, and there's eight weeks of lesson plans there. Uh, now we're getting into the adult lesson plans. The adult beginner is a six-week program, and I'm telling you, if you are going to run a beginner group of players, really look at this site. It's, I'm really proud of it. Uh, and the drills that we have for each week and what to do uh, is an excellent way to progress people quickly. We have this next session, which is going to be the majority of your club players. These adult drills are really for players anywhere from 2.5 to 4.5 level, and um, we have eight weeks of them there. And then the high performance, I have both here because you could use it for high performance adults or high performance juniors. These are higher end drills that are going to be a little more difficult, a little more cardio, and a lot more skill involved in that. But the lesson plan section has been a huge hit for us. Uh, so that's all in place and you can see it's a lot easier to navigate uh, because for example if I go to week one here, you can see that it landed me here on week one, but I don't have to go very far to get to week two it's really easy navigation so draws and mixers is the next category I want to take you to so the draws and mixer tab has uh, really been reformatted to make it a lot more on easy to manage and navigate so under the draws tab if I just click here you'll see that we have draws for four-man elimination eight-man compass draws all kinds of draws for you and they're easily 
uh, usable. They're just Excel files where you can go ahead and open these and type in your names and boom, you got a draw easily made for you. The articles section is just a compilation of articles I've written. This will continue to grow uh, and you can watch or, or I'm sorry, read any of these articles just by clicking on them here. The little kids section. This is all coloring book stuff for little kids so they can open up and try. So anytime you open up one of these, it'll download a Word file. So you can, uh, I made it Word so you can change, put your club name up at the top. But this is just a fun little thing that people can do and you can hand out for your kids and maybe post the kids' uh, drawings uh, up at your club. The business tab has all kinds of articles. Here's a, a project sheet. Here's core values that tennis can teach. Here's an event planner. Uh, I'll have a special um, tutorial video on just the event planner is very really good here's some job description examples vision sheets all the kinds of stuff that you might use at a club uh, and again this start will start to add to it and keep adding to it now round robins and mixers these are two uh, tabs here I'm going to click round robin first this is a great partnership that we have with my friend and former boss Brian Marcus from tennis business solutions uh, the way these work is you can click the eight-way players for example for eight players and I think I'll just show you this real quick so here's a really really cool event so this is where you would just put your your event uh, your dates your times but here's the thing I wanted to show you so you start typing in your names of your players here uh, and we got all these I'll just type in quick and here you can see that I fill in all the players names and if I want to this is optional I can put in all the times here as well so you can see I filled in all the times here I can even fill in the courts if I know the courts are gonna play on I can fill in real quickly, but let me show you how quick this is. So because I took the time to type in the players' names here, on the subsequent sheet, if you scroll down, you see that here they are. All my players and the draws are already been made. Here's the times, here's the courts, here's the player, and who plays who. So this is really, really convenient. And then if you scroll to the very last page, this is our score summary page. And again, we have the players here, uh, and it's just populated for you immediately. But here's the cool thing, because we know how tennis events can be. If I scroll back up to the top, and let's say at the last minute, uh, Rafa here can't play. So Rafa is going to be replaced with uh, Thomas. Now, just by typing in Thomas, look what happens on the subsequent pages. You can see that Thomas is here, he's here, and I just typed it one spot and immediately changed it everywhere else. So obviously this is going to be really helpful to you if you run Ron Robbins uh, and Mixers. It's a great way to uh, make your job easier. Now, the counterpart to the round robins is where everybody plays everybody is the mixing partners tab. And for mixing partners, I'll just show you the eight player again. So when you open up the Excel file, there's really two sheets. You've got to make sure that if you read down here, it might open up to this sheet, which is the read me first. And then the actual sheet you want for eight players is this next tab down here. You click that and now it opens it up. And once again, you can see that we typed in player one, player two, player three, four. And because I took the time to do that, and then you scroll down to the next page, and there they are, player one and two, player three and four. And keep in mind that the whole idea behind the this particular mixing partners is this is when you want your players to play different people or with different people. You want to minimize the amount of times that your players are playing together, as opposed to the round robin tab where you want to basically have the same players play the, the whole time, whether it's singles or doubles. All right, so again, a really useful tool that I think will help you with your job. So that's the last category here. This entire draws and mixtures section was relatively new to the site we added about two years ago based on request. Uh, it wasn't really very easily navigatable, so now we've changed it quite a bit. Now the latest drills tab is the next one up here in the upper menu bar. The intention of the latest drills tab is just to show you real quickly the last basically couple of months worth of drills. We have them right here for you. You'll know the most recent things so you can get to them right away. The about and the contact to speak for themselves. I do want to show you just a couple more tabs across the top. Uh, one thing that I failed to show you is this really cool feature with all of our videos. I'm going to show you singles. So here we are. We're watching the singles tab. Uh, and I got the very first drill pulled up, but I want to make sure that you understand I can add to favorites here. So if I click add to favorite, uh, it's going to add in my favorites button. Now I also want to make sure this is huge, a big part of our website is every single one of our more than 1700 drills can be viewed online, but also printed. You do that by clicking the print button. And if you click the print button, this is the image you'll see. A diagram that talks about the drill you just saw is something you can print and take with you on the court. It's a huge advantage in case you can't remember quite what you're looking at, especially helpful if you're watching multiple drills and you can't quite remember them all. 
So going back to the favorites tab, you can see I'm going to put one more drill in my favorites. I'm going to go to video number two, odd man out. Okay, so here we are with odd man out. And you can see down here I can add to favorites. And by the way, if that was a mistake, I can just take it right out. If I click it again, I just took it out. But I'm going to add it again. And now what I want to do is show you the favorites tab. This is a button up here. Really cool feature. This allows you to go ahead and put your favorites all into a category. So you can see that so far under my favorites, I've added you know, about four drills here. I can watch them from here. I can also remove them from here if I don't want them to be on there. Or if I want to remove all my um, favorites, I can just hit this button and delete them all at once. Uh, so that's how we do the favorites button. Now, I want to go back to the singles tab so I can show you a really cool feature. So a great feature that people were asking for is just a simple search because since we have 1700 drills, sometimes it's difficult to remember a drill. You kind of remember what it was. So let's say for example, you thought it had the word stinger. So right here, uh, I can start typing the word stinger in this little quick search and you'll see that all the drills that have that word uh, pop up in here. It's either in description or it could be in the uh, title. So that's a really nice feature. We'll call that the simple search. Now, up above, we have an advanced search, and this is necessary because, frankly, we have so many options and so many drills, and I'd like to show you what that looks like. So this advanced search section is probably best used if you have um, an idea of what you want to do. Let's say you're planning a lesson plan, and let's just say you want it to be a baseline drill. As soon as I click this, you'll see that as soon as I clicked it down below, I start populating things that are for baseline, but I can narrow it down some more. Let's say I only want it to be 3.0 level, so now those search results have changed. There's a whole bunch of them down here. But let's narrow it down some more. Let's say I want it to be for five and six players. And lastly, I want it to be for adults, 11 through uh, adult. That's what we call adults. We'll click that as well. So remember, with each click you make, the site's going to search and immediately update. So if you go down below, you see that I've narrowed this down to 58 results out of a possible 1,816. Now, if I wanted to make it a cardio drill, I would click that, and it would search for cardio drills as well. So this is a really helpful thing if you're looking for a type of drill with certain specific uh, theme for a drill, that, uh, whether it's baseline or net play, and how many players and stuff. So that's a really, really helpful area of the website. The My Account tab in the way upper uh, bar is just basic. It has all the information most websites have, my profile, how to change your payment method, your updating your bill info, and how to cancel your membership is all right here. And then the Tutorials tab, I'll click here. So here you can see you're actually in the Tutorials tab. You can see that by watching it right here. And we'll be redoing all these because there's a lot of different things. But it's basically a, a screenshot tutorial of everything you might need to know about the site. I'm trying to help people uh, have you know all the access they have and answer their questions, not just in text, but show them exactly what to do on the website with a screen capture video, much like the one you're watching, so they know all the different areas. And like I said, that'll all be updated as we get the new site going. But that's a very helpful area. I wanted to make sure you knew about it. So there you have it. There's a sneak peek. That's what's going to be coming your way. I'm really excited about the major improvements. I know some people have asked me if we plan to make a price increase because of this, and we do not. Our prices will remain the same. Uh, I'm happy to announce that. So we're just going to keep cruising. And you'll be getting more info as we get closer and closer. I'll make sure I keep you updated. But I thought you'd enjoy a quick sneak peek at the brand new TennisDrills.tv.